warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so as promised today i will continue with the second part of the bond valuation which is the bond duration all right so a measure of the interest rate sensitivity of a bond is referred to as duration all right notably uh, several specifications of duration have been derived over the past 20 years so the, these are the uh, example of the duration Okay, we have a Macaulay duration, modified duration, effective duration, and empirical duration. But for the purpose of syllabus FIN 552, we are going to cover only two, which is the first two, Macaulay duration and modified duration. Okay, next. Alright, so this is the Macaulay duration. Alright, so it is the weighted average time to full recovery of principal and interest payment or a measure of the time flow of cash from a bond so we are going okay to calculate below when we are going to get full recovery of principal and interest so kalau you beli bond ataupun the bond holder kita nak calculate uh, when are the ataupun how long many they uh, they, uh, they he, he or she have to wait Okay, until they betul-betul dapat full recovery, the full principal and interest payment. Okay, or the time cash from a bond. So, mathematically, so this is the formula for the duration. Alright. Okay, so later I will show you how to calculate. Okay, next. Okay, the first one, duration of annually compounded bond. So, kita tahu bond ni ada is annually compounded are the semi-annually compounded so for the annually compounded bond the interest ataupun the coupon tu will be paid to the bondholder once a year the annually setahun sekali kalau semi-annually the interest ataupun the coupon rate will be paid to the bondholder twice a year sebab the semi-annually maksudnya dia bayar dalam maksud 6 bulan sekali so kalau annually setahun sekali so, number one, kita try buat the given bond A. Okay, let's say lah dia kata, the 5% bond A has the power value of 1000 and the maturity date is in 5 years and the market interest rate or the yield to maturity is 8%. Okay, so kita recognize, dekat sini ada coupon 5%, power value 1000, okay, maturity and in 5 years and YTM is 8% which is the interest rate ni I kecil ni eh, the small letter I alright, so to calculate the duration of bond A so, yang ini you have to come out with the table with 6 columns, okay column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 so this one, you can also refer to your manual on page 61 alright, so I'm going to uh, explain to you how uh, we are going to do this table. So this table, okay, is prepared ataupun you nak buat ni is column by column, not row by row. So kita kena buat column 1 dulu. Okay, so for, for the column number 1, okay, it is for N, kan? Here, N. So N, we know that the N of the bond is 5 years. So that's why we put here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years. Okay, because the bond compounded annually, dia bayar interest tu setahun sekali, so akan ada muncul lima kali saja kat sini, N5, ataupun the interval tu is 5. Alright, so for the column number 2, okay, kita tengok column by column. For the column number 2, we put the cash flow. The cash flow here refers to the coupon rate of the bond, which is paid in RM. Okay, so we know that the coupon rate here is 5%. Okay, 5%, Kenapa 50? Because coupon rate tu darab dengan power value 1000. So 0 0.05 times 1000, you akan dapat 50 ringgit. So the bondholder actually will receive the interest payment 50 ringgit for each bond per year. Okay, so kalau dia ada satu bond, okay, dia akan receive 50 ringgit year 1, 50 ringgit year 2, 50 ringgit year 3, 50 ringgit year 4. And why? Okay, in year 5, they receive 1050. So, because of bond, okay, for those who invest in bond, they can receive interest payment annually tu, setahun sekali. And at the end of the maturity period tu, they can dapat the principal plus interest. So, where the principal here refer to the power value lah, 1000. 
plus dengan interest for tahun tu juga 50 ringgit. So that's why here kita dapat 1050. Okay, alright. Alright, so hopefully you are okay with column number 1 and column number 2. So now we are going to look at column number 3. So the column number, number 3 is for the PVIF which is at 8%. Why 8%? Because, okay, here YTM stated 8%. Okay, YTM here refer to the small letter I. I kecil ni kan. So how? How do we calculate the PVIF? The formula PVIF is equal to 1 over 1 plus I. So I kecil ni, small letter I, 8%, 0.08, 0 .08, power of N. Which is the power of N ni refer to? Yang ni lah kita nak kira salah satu. So kalau dekat N, tahun 1, N dia power kuasa 1. Year 2, kuasa 2, kuasa 3, kuasa 4, sampai lah kuasa 5. Alright. So, ini you can uh, calculate it by yourself using this formula. Ataupun if you have the PVIF table, you can straight away refer to the table. Just apa tu, extract sajalah daripada table PVIF. Ha, letak je dekat sini. Alright. So, bila dah dapat PVIF, okay, we are going to look at column number 4. Which is the column number 4 is equal to column 2 here, cash flow, times column 3, times the PVIF. So here, okay, uh, 50 ringgit times 0 0.9259, you will get 46.295. So yang kat sini, I would suggest you just to follow saja apa yang calculator yang you kira tu dia keluar. So kalau kata ada sampai 4 decimal aja lah, okay. So you just put the decimal. Uh, 4 decimal. So, ini kalau you kira memang dia dapat 46.295. So, you just ikut saja. Because of kalau you bunda-bunda. Kalau kata kat sini you tak 46.30 sen. Dia akan lari dekat price of bond dekat last kali ni. Akan lari. Ha. So, you just ikut saja. So, for the uh, N2, 50 ringgit times 0 0.8573. You dapat yang ni. 50 ringgit times 0. 7938, you're going to get 39.69. 50 ringgit times 0.7350, you're going to get 37.75. And the last one, 1050 times 0.6806, you're going to get 714.63. So the last row ni, you put the sum, ataupun the total. Eh? So the total, you just total up balik, dekat sini. So this is actually the price of the bond. Okay, so this is the PB. Okay. So, price of the bond is 880.23. Alright, next, column number 5 is equal to, kalau you refer to your book, ataupun to your manual, dia tulis PV as percentage of price. So, how do we calculate the percentage of price is, ah, uh, yang ni letak kat sini. Maksudnya, column 4 bahagi dengan sum column 4. So, maksudnya dekat sini, macam mana you dapat 0 0.05 Okay, is equal to 46.295 bahagi dengan 880.23. You dapatkan sini, 0 0.05 to 6. Ini pula, ya ini. Column 4, 42.865 divide by sum of 4. Sum of 4, ni lah. 880.23. So, kita nak tengok portion uh, setiap uh, year ni daripada harga dia. So, kita nak tengok percentage dia, portion dia. So, that's why, yang ini bahagi total. Yang ini, Bagi total, sama juga. Okay? For the rest of the rules. Sama. So, bila you dah masukkan semua ni, 39.69 divide by 880.23, you dapat 0 0.0451. 36.75 divide by 880.23, you can dapat 0 0.0418. And lastly, 714.63 divide by 880.23, you can dapat 0 0.8119. So, here dekat sini, you mesti dapat satu. Pemberat dia kan? Sebab you nak tahu berapa. Semua so, kat sini mesti dapat satu lah. Ha, satu peratus. Satu. Alright. And then, the last column is column number six is equal to column one times column five. Which is column one and times ha, portion tadi. Alright. So, yang ni column one, satu darab 0 0.0526. So, that's why dapat balik 0 0.0526. So, here... 0.0487 times 2, dapat yang ni. Yang ni 0.0451 times 3, dapat yang ni. 0.0418 times 4, dapat yang ni. And the last one, 0 0.8119 times 5, you akan dapat yang ni. So, you total up all, okay, from this column. 
So you can dapat 4.512 years. So this is the duration of the bond. Maksudnya dia nak kata kat sini, walaupun bond ni kata-kata nanti -kata maturity in 5 years, betul tak? Tapi sebenarnya, okay, the bondholder will get back all the cash flow in term of interest and principal tak sampai 5 tahun pun. Sebenarnya the the exactly duration is 4.512 years, tak sampai 5 tahun. Dalam 4 tahun setengah, dia dah dapat balik semua. Because of, the discount balik the cash flow dekat sini. Nampak tak? PVIF kan? PVIF, PVIF tu present value. So, bila the present value, kita discount, discount, discount balik dia. Cash flow. So, that's why sebenarnya dalam 4 tahun setengah saja the bondholder will get uh, all interest and uh, principal payment. Dalam masa 4 tahun setengah. Tak sampai 5 tahun pun. So, itulah duration sebenarnya. Alright? So, I hope you are clear with this one. So, next... Alright, so here biasanya question, dia akan suruh you calculate the duration of the bond, satu kan. And then number two, dia tambahlah sikit question dia, dia kata kat sini pula, if the interest rate increase from 8% to 9%, calculate the new price of the bond. Mana dapat 8% to 9% ni? Kan dekat sini tadi, interest ni kan YTM 8%. So now dia kata, if the interest rate increase to 9%, okay, uh, if the interest rate Increase to 9%, dia kata calculate the new price of the bond. Okay, dia nak suruh you kira harga baru. So, just now harga dia 880. So, harga baru kalau jadi 9% berapa? So, you tak perlulah kira macam ni lagi sekali. Masukkan 9% pula PVIF kat sini. Tak perlu. Tapi, apa nak buat? Apa nak buat? Apa nak buat? So, to calculate the new price, we can use the modified duration. Bila you dah kira sekali makole duration, so, now you can continue with the modified duration. So, modified duration is equal to demode. Alright. Modified duration, demode. Okay. Demode is equal to duration, D, divided by 1 plus I. So, tadi kita dah dapat dah duration dia. 4.512 kan. Okay. Divided by 1 plus interest lah. Okay. Interest tadi just now, 0.08. So, you akan dapat 4.18 years. So, this is the modified duration. Okay, next. To calculate the changes in price. Sebab kita nak kira harga baru dia kan. Kita kena tahu dulu changes in price dia berapa. So, this is the formula to calculate the changes in price. So, negative demode. Dia memang formula dia macam tu dah. Negative demode. Jangan lupa letak negative tu. Times changes in interest. Time price of the bond. Okay, so here I put the remark. Negative demote here means dia merujuk kepada negative relationship between interest and price. So, kalau ingat lagi, my first video tu, I dah show you kan macam mana kita kira harga bila interest makin increase, price makin decrease kan. So, that's why dekat sini negative demote tu merujuk kepada negative relationship between interest rate and price of the bond. So, that's why kita put here negative demote. Okay, so the formula dia memang kalau kita tengok kat buku pun memang macam tu. Okay, time changes in interest. Berapa changes in interest? Okay, interest tadi 8%, naik to 9%. So, changes dia? Here lah. Okay, changes dia 1%. Okay, changes dia 1%. 9 tolak 8, naik 1% kan? Okay, so here is equal to negative 4.18. Negative demote. Ni demote kita dah, dah kira tadi. Just put negative 4.18 times 0.01. Positif kan? Dia naik. From 8 naik 9. Positif kan? Ha, naik. Positif. So, times price of the bond. Price of the bond 880 tadi. Ambil kat mana? Dekat sini lah yang masih kita kira tadi ni. 880.23. Okay. Ha, so, it's just time. So, you akan dapat negative 36.79. So, I put the remark here. Negative here means price fall by 36 ringgit 79 sen. Betul lah sebab bila interest naik, harga akan turun kan? Harga akan jatuh. So, maksudnya dia penurunan dia kat sini by RM36.79. So, maksudnya dia kat sini, when interest increase by 1%, price decrease by RM36.79. Kat sini tak koma sikit. Okay, koma. Price decrease by RM36.79. Thus, the new price of the bond ataupun the P1 is equal to old price minus changes. Minus kenapa minus? Sebab kita tahu dah bila interest naik, harga jatuh. 
harga jatuh so kita tolak daripada harga asal dia. Okay, interest naik tadi kan? Ha, ini interest increase. Bila interest increase, harga turun. Dia kan negative relationship. So that's why kita put dia tolak dekat sini. Okay, put tolak. Okay, ni pun memang tolak dah ni. So you just tolak sajalah, tolak dengan RM36. So harga asal 880.23, tolak 36.79. So the new price of the bond is 843.44. Okay, RM843.44. Alright. Okay, now. Uh, tadi I kata kalau interest naik. So now kita try buat. If the interest fall pula. Uh, interest turun. Decrease. Falls from 8% to 6%. Calculate the new price of the bond. So maksudnya changes kat sini. Uh, okay. 2% changes. Okay. So sama juga. You calculate the demote. So demote. Uh, Negative, uh, sorry, 4.51 duration divided by 1 plus 0.08. You akan dapat 4.18 years. So, changes in price sama juga formula the negative demod time changes in interest rate time price of bond. So, negative demod negative 4.18 time negative 0.02. Kenapa negative? Kenapa negative? Because of false. Interest rate ni false. Negative lah. 0.02. Okay. 6 tolak 8, negatif 2 kan? Negatif 2%, sama juga negatif 0.02, times with the price 880.23. So, kalau you count, negatif dan negatif dapat positif kan? So, memang RM73.59. So, positif here means price increase by, uh, bukan 36 ni, sorry, sorry, sebab I copy tadi ni. By RM73.59. Uh, Maksudnya, when interest decrease by 2%, price of the bond will increase by RM73.59. Alright, thus, to calculate the new price of the bond ataupun the P1, so old price tambah ring changes. Tambah ni kenapa tambah? Sebab you know, bila interest turun, harga naik. So that's why kita tambah. Ni pun kita dapat positif kan? We just tambah je lah. Okay, plus here because the price Increase tadi ha. Kita tahu increase So the price Old price 880.23 Plus uh, RM73.59 So you can dapat The new price of the bond is RM953.82 Right Okay so untuk duration of semi annually I will record uh, the second video Sebab tak nak bagi panjang sangat Okay so you can Uh, tengok balik bila-bila you rasa uh, tak berapa clear you boleh dengar berulang kali ataupun nanti kalau tak faham boleh je tanya so I stop here dulu for the uh, annually compounded bond so in the next video I will continue with the semi annually compounded bond ok that's all thank you Assalamualaikum